Welcome to the Groove Juice. I'm your host Ian, and behind me are my co-producers Caleb and Jaden, who are both currently in prison. Before their incarceration, we managed to catch an interview with the NHS pet band and asked them how they are preparing for the upcoming musical, The Rock of Ages. We interviewed players from the NHS pet band, and currently with us, we have their drummer, Ezra, and let's go ask him some questions about how he's personally preparing for the upcoming musical. You're going to be exposed with this audio recording. Probably the touring. The grind. The grind. Gears are turning. So basically, uh... That's, that's, right. Not, that's it for the interview. Alright, that's the interview right there. Right, right. So, so basically... <laughs> Cool. Um, Can I say Stacy's lines then? Could I have a preview, please? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right there. That's that's the whole interview. What was the thing that made you want to go solo? Hmm. Probably the touring, the grind, five guys cooped up in a luxury bus, and the sushi you get in the Midwest. Did you know there's no ocean there? I'd say there's a big difference between playing on stage and you know playing in a smaller setting like a studio because. For one, it's a lot uh, easier to you know make mistakes and just do it again when you're not on stage in front of a lot of people. I think it's a really specific skill that someone has to develop, and you know, as they say, the show must go on. You got to keep it going. So I've done a lot of solo work in the past, as opposed to being in a pit band. And I guess they present different challenges. For solo work, the music is harder just by itself. But being in a pit band, there's so much music, and the trick is to just be consistent with all of it over a long span of time, like two hours. So that's been a challenge that I've had to um, learn about and overcome. Being a part of the pit band has been really awesome because I get to play a lot of music with a lot of great musicians and it's really fun. Uh, and I'm really excited to be able to perform all the music that we've prepared. As you can see, my uh, co-producers have escaped. Uh, if you want to reach out to us and uh, with recommendations of who you think we should interview, uh, email Ali Byther. Ezra, what are you doing? Thanks for watching. See you next week. <laughs>